Hello. Assalamu alaikum. My well. <laughs> wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <laughs> How are you, Emmy? I'm fine. How's hubby today? How's uh, what? Your, your hubby. How's your hubby? Your husband. No. Oh. He's fine. He's great. Alhamdulillah. Has it, has everything it, has is has fine. It, it, everything's good. And did you guys go out yesterday on your green day? No. Even him, he didn't go out. Oh, Emmy, <laughs> I wanted you to go out and tell me the gossip of what's happening. <laughs> I want it's to dangerous, see. dangerous, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I will see your YouTubes. It's a lot of YouTubes now. You will see it. You know, I never even checked the YouTube. I was so busy yesterday. I have to check it today and have a look. And if see I what... see it, I will send it to you. To, Please, to, yeah. To the first. Okay. Inshallah. Yeah, I would like to see what's happening. I wonder what my auntie got up to. If she actually done the whole... <laughs> I'm sure she did because she is very crazy. So she would probably go out and start going like, yeah, the great day. <laughs> so yeah, she's, but she loves it there though. But she's hoping to move to Jeddah. Yes, Jeddah is an open for the foreign, I think, more than Riyadh, yes. Yes, because she's, um, yes, yeah, she said that as well. Um, it, I think it kills her that there's no cinemas there. <laughs> <laughs> She's in used to yeah. even in Jeddah. There is no cinema. Oh, oh as well. No, oh. no, in Saudi Arabia, no. Alhamdulillah, it's better that there's no cinemas. <laughs> better that way, anyway. What was I gonna say? But she loves it. She loves the people, and she loves teaching. She really enjoys it. Yeah. Yes. So I, I want to go and see her, visit her one day. When I get the money, when I save up my money, I'm going to go, definitely. Just come for Umrah also. Yeah, I'm thinking of maybe Hajj. We never, we don't know yet. Maybe next year we might go for Hajj. Inshallah. Inshallah, yes. Make the wall for me. Hi, Servet. Hello. Oh, yes. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Service, lovely greeting, of course. Hello. So, guys, what is the goss? What is the crack? We want to we start have... grammar fast, oh fast, fast, and in the fast, fast, Five minutes. You have only five minutes. Uh, yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> Unfortunately, this grammar is not five minutes, it's ten minutes. It's very, very hard. What is that? Yes. It's okay. hard. Contraction. <laughs> no, it's not really that difficult. It's very easy. You guys know of them anyway. But there are more to the contractions. There are more of them you probably don't know. So I'll have a look into that. So you guys want to do the grammar first? Yes. Really? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, L let's a warm up first, of course. Um, wanted to ask you guys a question. If you guys can think of sentences, maybe a sentence that involves contractions. So we all have examples of contractions, what they are, right? Contractions. Emmy? Emmy? Yes. Yes, okay, good. So can you guys think of a lovely sentence? you can give me relating to sport and using a contraction we'll beat Real Madrid in the second match we'll beat no we won't serve it we won't yeah Turkey won't <laughs> good excellent okay I didn't and know the constructions sorry Contractions. Okay, so um, Servet's given us one. So instead of using we will, we can make it shorter. So we call this contractions or short forms. It can be either the one. And we usually, instead of doing we will, we skip out a few letters like we, and then we have the apostrophe that goes at the top. 
Yeah. And then we have two L L, double L L like this. I'm gonna show well, you the grammar anyway. Well, okay. Okay. So the apostrophe always will. Instead of we will. Okay. Yes. It okay. gives you a break yes. in um, writing. Some people get lazy and they use it all the time. So it's good to use it. It's good that they exist, of course. So can you think of one? Like you have I'm, I'll, okay. won't, mm. shouldn't. I'll, I'll uh, go to the mosque today. Okay, yeah. I'll go to the mosque today. Mm -hmm. Good, that's one. Excellent. Okay, well, let's move on to the proper grammar, guys. Okay. I will screen share this one. Two seconds. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Okay. All right. So, first part, guys, of contractions. I'm here myself in the echoing. My sorry, I think it's mine. Okay, sorry. Mine. Emma, you naughty, naughty, naughty. <laughs> oh, that's much better. Oh, thank you, Emmy. Thank you very much. So, we often contract or shorten words in English. For example, we may say he's instead of he is. We usually insert an apostrophe like this in place of the missing letter or letters. Okay. So here is a table of contracted endings in English. So here are the words in full on the left, guys, and here are the contracted versions. Okay. So irregular forms such as ain't, don't, won't, shan't can only be attached to an auxiliary which is not contracted. Okay. Informal, as in what's he do there every day? What's he do there every day? Instead of what does he do there every day, we say what's he do there every day. Now that's informal, guys. So that's not many. Well, we get that here in Northern Ireland. People usually get a bit lazy and they put the apostrophe S instead of the proper does um, sometimes. The informal as well, as in where'd he go or where'd she go? Where'd he go? Where'd she go? Okay, so we have the apostrophe D there instead of where did she go or where did he go? Okay, so guys, don't be using this informal phrase. I don't like this one. Okay, guys, none of this. Okay? I okay. hear the first one a lot from everybody. You can say it, but sorry, serve it. You know, where I never hear where does she go. I hear like the only is where does she go? I hear something like this all the time. Where does she go? I really? don't hear where does she go. Oh. Yeah, yeah, people because the native speakers they don't pronounce that. But you get some people that actually pronounce this properly, like word she go. And you can actually notice there is something really missing there. But like I mean, this is pretty obvious this one here. Instead of did where did she go? But you, it, that's where, really, it's in form. Where did she go? Instead of where did she go, they say word, word she go. Word she go. Sounds yeah, it it's, it doesn't sound correct. It's informal. You can use it, okay? But it's just informal. You probably say it to your friends a lot. Um, like we say it here in Northern Ireland, they say it a lot to your friends. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? You know. Mm -hmm. But you can't say it. There's nothing wrong with not saying it. But if you want to be a proper English speaker, you know, um, always use the fir the formal sayings. Okay. Okay. Let's have a look at the next one. Used mostly in o'clock. So of and then o apostrophe. This is used mostly in o'clock. Okay. Where it is mandatory in contemporary use. Okay. And this one here. Twas the night before. Instead of saying it was the night before, we some people say twas the night before Christmas. So some people do actually say that. Have you heard that one before, Servant? Twas. Twas, no. <laughs> it's okay, good. 
And then we have informal again as instead of them, we say M. What are we going to do with M? What are we going to do with him? That's how you say it. What are we going to do with him? We say that a lot in England. So it's yeah. just saying have you heard that the survey? Or, or, or also write it in the speaking and writing or, or just speaking? No, just speaking. No writing, uh -huh. just speaking. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But people get lazy, you know, of course. And then the other way of informal is ain't. Oh, we say so much of this here. Ain't. So ain't is contracted from I'm not and is not. It ain't so bad, guys. In Australia, they say it as well. Hey, it ain't so bad, guys. And in America, they say it also. Have you guys heard ain't before? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So that's another informal of, you know, using I'm not. Okay. Let's have a look at the next ones. So positive and negative contractions, guys. You guys have used this a lot. I know you have. Okay. So here are some positive contractions. And here are the short forms. And here are the long forms. So we have I'm, your, he's, she's, it's, we're, there. So I'm is, a sh is the short form of? I am. Yes. Your? You are. He's? He is. She's? She is. It's? It is. Where? We are. Very good. There. They are. Excellent. Well done. Well done, servant. Okay. And then we have I, you, he's. Okay. What about you? You. You. You have. You have. Good girl. We've. We have. They've. Question. They have. Yes. And then let's have a look at the next one. She'll. She will. They'll. They will. Okay. You'd. You would. Okay. They'd. They had or they did. Mm -hmm. Would and should. Okay. So these ones on the right, okay, these are the long forms. So when we have I'd, you'd, he'd, etc., we would short form it instead of putting would or should or had. We put the apostrophe D, okay? And then also when we have will or shall, we have the apostrophe LL, okay? And then when we have to have, the verb is conjugated. So we have apostrophe, so we have double E, apostrophe VE, okay? They've, we've, okay? So it's good to memorize these guys. I'm sure you guys know all this anyway, but it's good to know the background of all this. You know, we... Uh, we contract his as a mm -hmm. he's. Yes. Is, is it possible to contract he was the same way his was? Uh, no, no, not with was. Mm -mm. Do we contract was at all or no? No, not with was. No, only with to have to be. With was, no. Okay. I don't think you'd use that one. No. Okay. So it's just good to have a look at these again, guys. I can send you again links of these, okay? Did you send just message me. I, it. I know you have to remind me, guys. I forget. So now and some some of the guys they didn't add me yet, so but I will send it to you, sir. But do you want me to send it to you after this class then? Yeah. Okay, so what you, was you, it? It was um future. Some they're also using Google Docs. You can just copy and paste and put it in a Google Doc. It's easier. All right, okay. So I'm not even used to all this Google business. You know how many things and features it actually has? It's unbelievable. Okay, so serve it. I will just basically, what, save a document and save it on my Google Docs. Yeah. And Future Perfect as well, please. Yes, I will. That was yesterday. Future Perfect and Contractions. But are you, you're not on Facebook, serve it. I added you yesterday. I didn't see me. you. 
You know, I add people I don't even realize who I'm adding. I just accept everyone. <laughs> uh, but sometimes I accept, you know, you know, people that are not even on Kalingo. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, so where were we? Okay. Okay, so let's have a look at the common contractions, guys. So these were all positive contractions, okay? Let's have a look at the negatives. So, Serva, can you read all the negatives? Would you mind reading the negatives? Okay, aren't. Good practice. Mm -hmm. Can't. Uh, couldn't. Mm -hmm. Daren't. Oh, you can. They're not That's there. another one. Yes, they're not. Yeah. Anything that has an N-O-T, you can um, abbreviate it. N-O-T. Okay. Yeah. Uh, didn't, doesn't, don't, has, hasn't, haven't, hadn't, isn't. Mind? Oh my God. Yeah, mayn't. There you go. Yeah. Mayn't. You never knew that one. <laughs> Mind, mustn't. Mind, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, need, needn't, oughtn't, mm -hmm. it? shan't. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wasn't, weren't, won't, mm -hmm. wouldn't. Okay, excellent. Did you guys know some of these? Shan't, mm -hmm. mayn't, yeah. So some of these are added. So strange. Shan't. Yeah. <laughs> Not many people say it these days. I think they usually say the full form, shall not, instead of shan't. But you can say this as well. So. How do you, may not becomes mayn't and might not yes. mind, right? Um, um, mightn't, mightn't. Mightn't. Yes, mightn't, yes. Mightn't. Okay. Yes, mightn't, yeah. And mayn't. And then shan't, yeah. Okay, so these are good to memorize, guys. It's just all about memorization, really. And you yeah. guys know most of them anyway, you know. But I will send them to you. Okay, let me write them down. Hang on. So Do I people send... use it in movies? Do you hear it in movies? And uh, um, which one, the long form or the short form? Short form. Um. Oh, it depends what type of movies. If you're looking at the old classical movies, um, mm. like what what was that movie with uh, Shakes? Not Shakespeare. Was it Shakespeare? I don't know. Mm. Now there was one. I know Romeo and Juliet. They were speaking like that. I think they were using some of this um, short forms. I think they were using chant mm. instead of shall not, because this kind of derives from the old classical English as well. Mm. Some of these. So, yeah, it's good to actually memorize uh, mayn't and shan't, even though nobody says it, but it's good. It's good formal language there. So let me write this down, guys, so I'll remember. So future perfect, contractions, negative, positive. Okay. Okay, I will send that to you guys after this class. Okay. So let's have a look at some other common contractions, guys. Okay. So short form. Here on the left, far left, middle, long form, and then the example of using <coughs> the short form. So, Emmy, you want to read out um, the four, please? Okay. With the example? Please, yes. Here. Okay. Here's, here's your meal. So, can you... Make there, it bigger? Uh, no, uh, not highlight it. Yes, thank you. There, uh, there, there be nobody. There'll be nobody. There. There'll be nobody here tomorrow. Excellent. There's, there's a taxi. Mm -hmm. That's, that's my car. Okay. Uh, okay. Continue. You want to read the yes if you want. Yes. Okay. Read this part. Yeah. Okay. That'll, that'll. That'll be ten dollar, please. How's how's your wife? What'll what'll people think? What's what's he matter? What's the matter? Very good. Yeah. Yes. Keep going. Keep going, Emmy. When's he? When's the wedding? Where's 
Where is the cinema? Who's? Who's your teacher? Who'd? Who'd like? Uh, who'd like ice cream? Uh, who'll? Who'll be there? Excellent. Thank you, Amy. So guys, you have used these before, right? All these common short forms. Yeah? Yeah. But you kind of are aware of all of these, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's have a look at the next part. Okay. Some contractions can have two or three meanings, okay, depending on the rest of the sentence. So, for example, he'd can be either he had or he would, okay? So, he'd like to go, it can mean he would like to go, okay? We wouldn't say had, because had is a different meaning altogether. So, he would like to go. We can change it to he'd like to go, okay? He had finished when I arrived. So, we would put he had finished when I arrived. Can anyone think of an example of using he'd or she had, or it would, and bring it to short form. She had been saying rep repetitively horse when I revealed the answer, <laughs> which wasn't horse. <laughs> That's a good one. Emmy is referring to you, by the way. <laughs> Hello, Emmy. <laughs> Emmy. Horse, horse. Yeah, horse. Okay. Uh, she'd, uh, okay. <laughs> she'd ride a horse now. She'd what, sorry? She'd, she'd ride a horse now. She'd ride. She'd be, I think, she'd be ride horse now. You mean she would be riding a horse yes. now? Okay. So she'd be riding a horse now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can have to give a reason after. She'd be riding a horse now if I was there, maybe. You can have to add uh -huh. a reason okay. for that. Why would she be riding mm -hmm. a horse? Okay. Okay, good. Okay. okay. Yeah, he's excellent. So the last part, guys. Okay. So some forms of syncope um, may also be considered contractions. So you guys know the meaning of syncope? No. Okay, so basically it's just um, a mission of sounds of letters from within a word. So, for example, we have this one. Um, probably is pronounced probable. Some words like that. And then we have um, wanna. So that's a short form of one, two. That's a syncope. That's an example of a syncope. Okay. So a lot of people say wanna as well um, instead of one, two. A very abbre abbreviation there. It's a lot of abbreviations that we can use. So, for example, I really want to go and see that movie tonight. And then this one, y'all, better. Remember to take your sunscreen. So this is more American, definitely American. I've heard that in movies before. Y'all, better take your sunscreen instead of you all. What they yeah. say, it doesn't sound good. Miracle is from South. And yeah. We always say that don't use it. Yeah, it's not good to use it. It's a, it's a, again, it's a, another slang. Yeah. Um, yeah. So better just stick to the normal long form, which is want to, going to, and you all. Okay? And that's it, guys. Any questions? Do you um, the lovely you contraction. Music classes. You should join uh, us. I see. No, I have. I know. I really enjoy her music classes. Like, um, I watched it once. You know, when I'm waiting for another class, I like to watch her classes, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I used to like to watch Shanae's classes as well. Shanae's classes were good. You know, bubbly. You should mm. once join us in her music classes and sing. I know. Imagine a teacher joining another teacher's class. <laughs> uh, I joined, you know, Catherine? I think Catherine's left now. I'm not sure. Mm. Um, Catherine, I don't know her surname, but I joined her class once. When I was training, I had to join her class, and her classes were good. 
Yeah. I like all of the teachers. Now, there are new teachers, though. I'm not. I don't really know any of the new teachers. I, all I know is Miracle and Sinead. That's it. And maybe what's her name? I said, oh, the last name. Miri. Miri. Yes. Only three teachers. But I like Miracle. I really like her. I just love her attitude and everything. She's just so lively, and you know, and how she sings and all. It's class. But yeah. Okay, have you been to our class, Emmy, for music? No, not for music. Pronunciation yes. only. Oh, pronunciation, yes. Yeah, and do you like her classes, the pronunciation? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I yes. definitely Even go to her the classes. Even classes are so nice also, but the yeah. music, no. I, didn't, I don't like to get yeah. in the uh, music class, not because of her, because the, the, the article is about music, I didn't like it. Oh really? Oh mm. yeah. Okay. All right then, guys. So look, any questions so far? No questions. No. It's just a matter of memorizing everything, guys. Yes, I think and I practice on thing. it. Yes, that's right. Like m majority of them, guys, you are aware of them. I'm sure. It's just a few of them that you know. Um, are quite new. Not many people use it. This is probably why you're not aware of. But I will send you the links and good practice on them, okay? Okay. Let's move on, shall we, to the article, the lovely article. So today, what are we going to be reading about? Oh, today, yes, we're going to be reading about Egypt. Mm. Egypt's Olympic athletes given fake equipment. Oh, God. Oh, they're furious. They are angry. Okay, so let's have a read of this one. Okay, so I will screen share the document. Actually, should I just send you the link? Hang on, like I usually do. Okay, bear with me. Yes, please. Yes. I like how service is. Yes, please. <laughs> a modest please. Okay, guys, you see it? Yes. Yes. Okay, so who wants to read first? Emmy, you want to read first because uh, you are a lady? Yes. Okay. <laughs> then Sarah can read the next paragraph. <laughs> okay. Egypt's Olympics are furious after it was discovered they have been given fake equipment to use at London Olympic Games. Yumna Khalaf, one of the team's Syn synchronized swimmers, swimmer, uh, swimmers, highlighted the scandal in a series of tweets this week. She wrote, "The bags, for example, have a big Nike logo in the front, and the zippers are Adidas." <laughs> <laughs> the fake was clearly far from convincing. <laughs> yes. uh, Mrs. Khalaf also tweeted that she had to shell out more than three hundred three hundred dollars for from her own pocket to buy the appropriate gear. She added, "It's uh, it's so." Frustrating that we had to pay extra to have other uh, prop, proper stuff to wear so that we can look okay. Not even good. <laughs> she later <laughs> tweeted that they are ordering new clothes now from Nike UK. <laughs> <laughs> I know even Egypt they have fake stuff there, don't they? So they must have been fuming. Yeah. God love them though. They must have been angry though from that. I would be angry. Fake stuff. Okay, and <laughs> and Sarah, can you read the next part, please? The Egyptian Olympic Committee's Secretary General Mota Sanbol said he was shocked to find out that the equipment was not directly from Nike. However, the committee's chairman General Mahmoud Ahmed Ali defended the purchase of the counterfeit gear because of his country's poor economic conditions. He said, 
re-signed with a Chinese distributor in light of Egyptian economic situation. The incident has caused outrage in Egypt with many people saying it is a huge embarrassment for the country and a disgrace. Sports goods manufacturer Nike is also concerned that the athletes will have received products that do not meet Nike's quality standards. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for that. So, what do you think of that one, guys? That lovely article. Where did the, uh, from where did they buy these equipment? From Egypt, and I think it's the same prices, expensive prices. They, they, uh, they spend ex They buy it for ex from with expensive prices, I think. I know, and in the end it was fake. They they didn't get it directly from Nike, that's all it was saying. Um, I don't know, it didn't say where it did. Oh, it must have been a Chinese distributor from China, obviously. Because so in China, when I went to Egypt, in China they get a lot of fake stuff from China, and they sell it, and it's like Nike, Adidas, everything. So. And it did say, we signed with a Chinese distributor in light of Egypt's economic situation. So it was from China, obviously. And they with thought the it was... Price, really... Like we buy it from Nike, right? Yeah, they got fooled, looks like it. You know, like counterfeit means it's an imitation of, of something like Nike or Adidas. Yes. Because um, of the gear, of the country's poor economic condition. So there you go, yeah, but it's like they should have known that anyway in China, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I think Alan bought, he bought something from, like in Egypt, they had like a little store, right? And they would sell Nike, you know, Adidas, what other names were there? There were Firetrap, there were so many other names you could think of, right? And Ali was like, oh, my God, this is, like, proper cool. And, like, it's cheap. It's a, de it's a decent price. So, anyways, he bought um, a Nike top, I think. And also they were selling shoes. And they look so convincing. They look real. It looks, wow, like, you know, good quality. And, you know, on the label it doesn't say made from China or anything like that. It yes. has a proper label, you know. Mm -hmm. Aline bought it anyway. And then within a month of washing it, you know, when you have to wash it a few times, um, mm. it shrunk. It shrunk in the wash. So it was down past his, um, uh, let's see, he was quite long, actually. It was past his... Um, trousers, nearly the trouser knee length, quite long, it was a jersey top, and then after tumble drying it, well we didn't tumble dry, we put it in the washing machine, it shrunk up to his uh, belly button. <laughs> 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 I'm like, what a rip off, I might as well just get the original one. <laughs> so we were fooled, just like the Egyptians were fooled, we were fooled. <laughs> so yeah, be careful. I think, uh, I think, uh, it's uh, strange because uh, we know that any products from China it will be uh, not uh, good as the originals. Yes. So why they didn't fetch them or have contract if the, it's not uh, as good as we we wish? I don't know. They like it said the fake was clearly far from convincing. They just couldn't. Yes identify it like we did with that shop it just looks so convincing it looked real Emmy you know it was like wow it's proper good quality uh -huh. and um, no, obviously I was, no. no I was uh, I was thought that it uh, it's clearly understand when mm -hmm. we from the first time you will so see it we will see it's fake really god well this shop I don't know <laughs> like even Alan my husband he can notice a fake top from a mile off like he's like that's fake but this one he was like wow and the mm. price was kind of oh it was okay like it wasn't too cheap so we kind of thought oh maybe you know yeah. it could be real but yeah so same thing with these guys they paid a lot of money thinking oh it's good money so it must be quality then because when you see something that's so expensive you're like yeah, it must be good quality then. Obviously, it's yeah. not fake. So yeah. they say it's always you get what you paid for. Yes. You get what you paid for. If you pay for something cheap, it's not going to be quality. If you pay for something expensive, 
it's going to be really good quality. But yeah. So any questions in regards to this article? In the light of? In the light of seeing something. So in the light of, where is it here? Where do in we see the in the light? In the light of Egypt, Egypt's economic situation. Second paragraph or first paragraph? The second paragraph. Let me find it. We Let signed it with a Chinese distributor ah. in the light of? Yeah, just, you know, in um, the Department of Egypt's economic situation. Okay. It's like a department, you know, just explaining what it is. That's it, really. Yeah. Any questions? So in Turkey, do they have lots of stores that sell, like, fake Chinese stuff? Serve it? No, they, they sell original things, but sometimes you can... Oh. Find outside if people really, mm, really the markets like outside <laughs> people can bring things on a, in a truck mm. and uh, put a rag on the ground and they can sell. You see it very oh, rarely. Oh yes. And I also oh, you see it I, have, okay. I mm. have one. Uh, I did a shoes. Mm -hmm. Probably they are not original, but mm -hmm. they are better than originals. I'm really oh, happy with this, with the, really? the shoes. You know, for, before buying this, actually, I didn't buy it. Somebody else bought it me. But for me, I went to original stores. And I didn't mm -hmm. like the models there, and they mm -hmm. were pretty expensive. And somebody said, okay, one of my relatives, there's a person bringing the shoes, and they are mm -hmm. cheaper and there are good models. And they brought me one. It fits my feet better than original Adidas ones. Wow. They are cooler and it is still, I am wearing it like for since the wow. beginning of the summer and it's still the same, it's still like, like new. Uh, I think and they're I'm still wearing. intact, still yeah. intact. <laughs> that's excellent. So you're like the princess in a way, but the king that fits his shoes onto the shoe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's good. Yeah, I suppose you get some like replicas, don't you, that have different standards of quality. You know, I'm sure they do have that, but that's good. Good for you, Servet. What about you, Emmy and Saidi? Do they have lots of? I doubt they have fake stores that sell Chinese products. I'm intrigued to go shopping in Saidi. Is she there, Emmy? Are you there? Very quiet. Emmy, oh, I'll be right back. Um. Yes, so serve it. I would like to go to um, Dubai again. Dubai, they have so many nice shopping areas. Oh, my God. And when we went there to Dubai, um, serve it, they had designer names, right, like 70% off, yeah. right, the mark price. And it wasn't fake. It was all real. So we went at a perfect time when all the sales were there. Oh, my God, serve it. If you go to Dubai when there's a sale, oh, you would buy good shoes. <gasps> Oh my God, we were in heaven. I was in heaven. I was like, Alan, can you look after Zenadine? I'm going to be away for four hours <laughs> shopping. Yeah. And he was getting, he was fuming because I was away for such a long time. Oops. So it's good to go there. Okay, so should we wait for Emmy until she comes back and then we can do the discussion questions? Let's see. Yeah, maybe. Well. It's nearly quarter to. Mm -hmm. no, when you go to another country, sometimes you have problems. Mm -hmm. Food, things. How do you do this in the UK? You know, mm -hmm. here we cannot eat pork, but when you go out, they use pork products a lot. You have to be vegetable. So this is why I would like to. Sometimes I was thinking that. I go to States or somewhere else to study, but you think people go mm -hmm. there sometimes, they eat breakfast every time, mm -hmm. three times a day breakfast because they, they cannot buy things that are like, they really? use pork fat or something else. Can uh, you find other products in the UK or in other countries? Is it so difficult or? Mm, no, in England, especially England itself, like London, they have so many halal places serve it. Like mm. they have Lebanese, they have Turkish, they have Egyptian, 
like a lot of um, ethnics are there. Like a lot of Arabs go to London, and even in Manchester, everything is nearly halal. And Birmingham in England, majority population is eighty percent Muslims in Birmingham. Oh. So we don't have a problem. In Northern Ireland we do. Of course we have to have seafood, um, like fish, yeah. if, if we can't have. If they're selling pork or beef, we just have fish. Usually there's always fish in the menu. But we go to Belfast, that's the next big city from us, and they have a nice restaurant there we go to. So we don't really have a problem. Only when we go to the supermarkets they don't have fresh produce like they don't have fresh mm -hmm. salami there we have to go to another store that sells halal meat yeah it's all but I we're think okay shop. yeah right. there is a lot of Tur yes there is actually yeah. we have a lot of turkish people in belfast serve it lots and mm. also um let's see albanians there as well albanians we have um, yes, bosnians and Yes, uh, I think also my sister lives uh, in the United States. She mm -hmm. she says that uh, all the shops that have halal meat are mm -hmm. for Turkish people. Yeah, most of exactly. the time. Yes, and also the halal sweets as well. Oh, I love the halal jellies. You know the mm -hmm. Haribos. Yes. They're all from Turkey. <laughs> yes. They send them from Turkey, imported from Turkey. Yes, I know this new that uh, the jelly oh, is not yes. uh, not uh, halal. <laughs> it's in not United halal. States. Oh yeah, yes. In, yes, in the United States, except if we, you buy it from also halal, halal shop. Yeah. Yes. So in Belfast, Emmy and Servet, they have like halal section of sweets, and it's like I think is it called Bebo Servet B. Begins with a b, b. Bebo? No, I don't think. No, I don't know. It's it's a name of a product of this that sells the the jellies, and they're all imported from Turkey. When you look at the back, made mm -hmm. in Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> so it is cool. I love Turkey for that. Thank you for making your lovely halal products and importing them to <laughs> UK. I love you for that. <laughs> oh, that's cool. We would be lost without you. I would be mm -hmm. lost without my Harry bows. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, so that's pretty much good, sir. But I would suggest you would, uh, I would, I would definitely think you wouldn't have a problem with oh, coming. Uh, because I was think that I would probably have problems. I would have to be vegetarian. No, no, definitely <laughs> not. No, just make sure you go to the the capital, which is London, or mm -hmm. another big city after that will probably be Birmingham, Manchester. Mm -hmm. I will give you a list, sir. If you need help, I will give and, you a list of what places to go to. Yes, sir. We try to eat the fish that is uh, foreign in fire, cooked in fire, not uh, cooked with water and oil. Lots wow. of Muslims do it, yes. Really? I didn't know this. Uh oh. So I didn't get what. What is that? What what happens when you eat when boiled fish? You or? eat fish with not. Uh, it's not boiled with with oil. Any oh my kind God. of oil. Fried, it's, you mean it's, fried? Yeah. It's uh, yes. No, it's uh, fires. Uh, it's uh, I don't know the word. They are firing the them. It's not. Uh, they're with burning. Oil on they're it. burning the fish. Yes, burning. Oh, yes. what? But then that's gonna be black nearly without any oil. How does that work? Yes, but it's delicious. Yes, it seems black. Oh God. We here eat it, Servet. I think yeah, you yeah. eat it, it also. Like barbecue. Oh uh, yeah. Yes, it's like barbecue exactly. No, Servet. I don't think you're gonna get that uh, custom-made barbecue in London if you wanted to go and get your fish burnt. Barbecue. <laughs> no, don't you like barbecue. They use it. You know, kebab is made this way. They don't fry the kebab. They use it. They cook it on fire. Oh, that yes. way. Oh, like they do with the kebabs. But yes, exactly. Oh, but it's. Oh my god! I never fresh. seen that before, Emmy. That's a first. It's time. delicious, Sakina. If you want to see. Awesome. It's oh, that awesome. is awesome! That is marvelous! I want to try this! Yummy! This is so much healthier as well. Yes, yes. no oil, no extra oil. 
Wow. And the I fish th itself, it's healthy. Delicious. Yeah. yeah, I can imagine. No oil, no fat, and nothing. So I thought you were literally saying, you know, it's like you have lamb on spit and you have the fish rolling around in the spit. Have you ever seen lamb uh -huh. on spit? No, no, it's not like that. <laughs> I, I thought it was like that. Like barbecue, yes. Ah, like so the one in the kebab, like the kebab. Yes. Okay. I, I don't know, maybe they have that in England, but I've never seen it. I haven't seen it. Yeah, maybe you should. Maybe you can open a takeaway servant that you can do that, make it different, make it healthier. Yes, I should come to the UK and open a kebab restaurant. That's right. Open another one <laughs> out of all the 20 kebab restaurants in London. <laughs> really? Are there a lot? Oh, there's so many, so many. But like, it all depends. If you pick a very small town, yeah. And nobody has kebab restaurants, then you can make good money, definitely. People love their kebabs here. Oh, they love them. How about this? Do people sell this this food? Traditional uh, food. Let me see. Pictures. Let's have a look. Uh, first one. Um on ta and takeaways? No, I don't think so. I think if you go to a restaurant they would. But in takeaways, they sell like um, sweets, you know, the sweets, and then they sell the kebabs, falafels. They sell there as well. Um, Laugh majoon. Yes. No, I'm famous for this food. When I do this, everybody loves it. <laughs> wow, really? Oh, it looks delicious, perfect. Oh, yes. I want some. <gasps> All it looks the so Turkish nice. food are delicious, actually, and healthy. Yeah. They don't. Yes, they put lots of spicy, but uh, a little uh -huh. uh, oil and uh, butter and something like that. Yes. Yeah, but not too much. I yes, love the yes. lachmajun. You know, the lachmajun is really tasty. Oh, God, I love it. I, I can I can make the lachmajun, but probably not as good as the Turkish, of course. Um, but I can make it. Alan likes to eat it. It's it's very tasty. It is tasty now. Maybe I should okay. ask. My mother does it pretty well. Maybe I should ask for a recipe and send the recipe to you. I Please, see. servant. That would be great. Yes. Well, what all I use is that mince, right? And then I put the parsley on top. Mm -hmm. But the spices, I only use like what three spices, and that's it. <laughs> Just throw it all in there. Oh, yeah, I, I know. I'm sure there's more rest. I'm sure there are more ingredients you have to put in with yeah, my mother put More out of different things. Yeah. Oh man, stop making me hungry. God, <laughs> it's tough. Okay, let's move on to the discussion questions, guys. Okay, we're running out of time. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look. Mm, okay. Right. Two seconds, guys. So first question. What will it take to improve people's lifestyles? So what will it take to improve people's lifestyles? Your own opinion, guys. What do you think will take? to improve people's lifestyles in terms of getting healthy, you know, better education, etc. Being more active. Anything. Let me I'll paste you the question. There you go. What do you think? Mm. I think the education is so important for all the peoples. Mm-hmm. People, uh, people. For the people. Mm -hmm. For all the people, yes. Mm -hmm. It's uh, improve their lives in all directions, even if they don't have to work or... But it's um, it make them uh, modern. And, mm -hmm. uh, yes, and their heads are... Screwed on. Uh, Yes, have a lots of knowledge about how to talk, how, how to speak, how to buy, how to work, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. how to think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, use the brain, yeah. Yes. Very good, Emmy. Thank you for that. Okay, so this is relating to the article now, guys. Okay, so why was Mrs. Calla frustrated? 
Why was Mrs. Caliph frustrated? Because even the original ones didn't fit so well. It was only good. Mm -hmm. Just joke. Because they were fake and mm -hmm. she bought original products mm -hmm. and she still didn't look perfect <laughs> yeah. as she wanted. Yeah. She said it, they she, were good. And she buy a new uh, new stuff from her, her own money. And she bought, bought, yeah. Bought mm -hmm. her new stuff uh, from her own money. Yes, that's so right, she did. So it looks okay. Not uh -huh. really good. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's so true, Amy. Yeah, so I have a very good as well. Okay, last one. What's your favorite hobby? So, what do you like to do in your spare time? Bar go on Kalingo and learn English. What do you like to do in addition to this? I like exercising. Really? That's your hobby? Servant? Yes. What's, what's the like? To I what? Like Sorry? Do, <laughs> I like to do exercise. Uh huh. It's a habit. Oh, I wish I it's had this habit, servant. Oh. I know. <laughs> I hate exercise. Every day I do it, and I hate it. I said, Oh my God! Why we don't <laughs> make me fit? Uh, make me what? Fit? No. Make fit, me fit, thin. Yeah, fit. fit. Yes. Without oh, thin, exercise. Thin. Thin. Yes. I know. Isn't it great? You know, you know, Emmy. I get lazy like that as well. I feel like, look, I'm gonna buy diet tablets and just take them and just hopefully be skinny. <laughs> but that's like the hard way. I that's like a cheat, you know. And Alan was telling me, look, Sakina, you have to exercise and eat healthily. And I'm like, I can't do that. I hate exercise yeah. too. You know, it's I so pray uh, sometimes uh, on the praying times. I make dua. Please, God, make me love the exercise. <laughs> really? Love, yes, it's hard for me to do it continuously. Yes. Oh, Emmy, I think it's better if you go to the gym yourself, and then that's when you're going to get motivated. Because when I was going to the gym, I was more motivated. Yes, I think that. But um, uh, yes. I think you should. I think yes. if you want motivation, definitely go to the gym because I would go to the gym, but I have just no time. Like, I literally have no time. Like, I was saying to serve mm -hmm. it, my life is just hectic. Yeah. And when you have a child, and you have to study, and you have to cook, and you have to clean, everything, it's uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay, guys. So, assessment time. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Okay, let's try this one. Right, let's. You know, where's my little plan now? Oh, guys, I lost my plan. Two seconds. Has already finished his fifty-five. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh God, no! But I have to ask you some more questions. Wait, wait, wait. Two seconds. Should we wait? You're not escaping your assessment. Emma, I didn't answer question? my hobbit, Sakina. You didn't ask Oh, me. sorry, Emmy. Go on. Sorry, Emmy. Okay. It's just for losing we... the time, Sakina, <laughs> for not going. <laughs> okay, go on. Go on, Emmy. I'll let you speak. Go on. Tell us your okay. hobby. I will say it in the... <laughs> In the slowly and oh, slowly, you know, you know, we don't need a assessment. We don't need assessment. Naughty, naughty, naughty. <laughs> okay, Anyways, I, I, lo I lost my assessment page anyway. I can't even assess you guys. Okay, I'm sure you are happy to hear that. As a punishment, you should ask some questions to Amy off the top of your head. Difficult questions. <laughs> no, yeah, I should, but I have no time. I have two minutes left. Two minutes. Okay. <laughs> Quick, Amy, hobby. Okay. I discovered that I like to read a lot. Okay. Yes. So it's my new hobby. I okay. very much like to catch a book and read about, uh, especially for biography. Okay. Some people, yes, Muslims people, old 
Muslims people, yes. I like Muslim it. people, Muslim people, yeah. yeah. Very good, Emmy. Very good. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I lost my assessment page, so I can't even assess you now. Damn. Can we game taboo? <laughs> Again? Oh my god. I think you guys are probably getting sick of taboo, though. <laughs> I think it's overrated now. Thank you, Sakina. <laughs> you are my lovely teacher, actually. Oh, and you're my lovely student. I love you both. You are like my little family. Oh. Thank you. My little lovely students. Right, listen, I'll let you go. And uh, I will speak to you soon. And have a good day. And look after Thank yourselves. You. Okay, okay, and study them links. I'm going to send them to you now, actually. Okay. Thank you. And see, All right. I think, uh, Sakina, I send it for you about the barbecue fish. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you, Emmy. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.